All right, so question. Find the derivative using the limit definition. I know this definition looks ridiculous. You have no idea where it came from because I didn't show you yet, but I will. So I want to compute the derivative. Now, there's a special notation for it. I haven't shown you that yet either. The first step that you're going to do is you're going to replace the x with x plus h. You need to compute this. Now, yes, you can do it within the problem, but I like to do it separate. This is a smart way to do it. So wherever you see x, you put x plus h. Now I got to multiply it out. So now I'm going to do a dumbass thing first. <gasps> x plus h squared. x squared, h squared. This is I got that shit all day. This is nonsense. This is not. This is not how you square this. You have to do x plus h times x plus h. And again, I'm going to write it all out. I don't want to. I don't want to skip anything. Now you have to multiply it together. You have this three. This three is waiting for you to do the product. So you're going to do x squared. Now, I'm going to have an hx in the middle, and then I'm going to have an hx at the end. So I'm going to have two hx's. I'm going to write xh just because it's easier. Used to writing x first, right? So you multiply it out. Now you multiply the three through. Hop over the fence, say hello to everybody in the party. There's no like terms to combine. Three times this, three times this, three times this. So plug in x plus h, square it, multiply it by itself, foil it all out, and then distribute to three. Now you got to use this. Plug this here, plug the f of x dude here, and simplify. What's your goal? Kill the h on the bottom. You have to cross out all the crap that doesn't have an h in it, and it will go all go away. Everything left will have an h, and then those h's are going to knock out the h on the bottom. This is your goal. Now I have to write when. I, it's very unlikely I'm going to fit all this, but I'm going to try you can see that this is a huge amount of writing. Take away, right? This is f of x plus h. There, see? There, there, this whole big long thing. You have to take away the f of x guy. Now I'm going to save myself a huge headache here in a minute. <laughs> I have to distribute this. This minus has to hit him and him. So I'm going to cheat. Um, I don't want to copy this all over again. So I'm going to just put the minus here. This minus and this minus make a plus. So I'm going to do my sign switch like this. I'll move it in the front there. <laughs> Not much better, but whatever. All right, it saves me having to write the whole thing over again. Now, you have a 3x squared and a minus 3x squared. You have a negative 5 and a plus 5. They cross out. Who's left? This dude, this dude. Everybody else crossed out. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. And you're only left with that. So what the hell do you do with that? You factor out the H, whoops, 6XH plus 3H squared all over H. Now remember, H is going to zero. Unless you get rid of this H. <laughs> You're totally screwed, so this H has to go. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to factor the H out of the top. And, yes, I like to see this step, okay? I like to see all of these steps. This is, this is your work. So factor out the H and then go. You just killed the dude who was creating all the problems for you. H is going to zero, so you cannot plug zero in there. And you're going to be doing this in a minute. So if you're like, this is so stupid, but this is what you got to do. This is how you're going to do the problems. Now what do you do? Well, now there's nothing stopping me from plugging in zero for H. So put zero in for H. I know I'm getting close to the bottom and it might be hard to see. Replace H with zero. That's going to kill this whole thing, right? Three times zero is zero. So you get 6X. So that's your derivative of this dude right there. So the derivative of this using the limit definition, 
it's a lot of writing. I'm not lying to you. It's a lot of writing. It's a pain in the ass. This is the long way. Will I teach you a faster way? Of course I will. There is a faster way. If people had to do derivatives this way, they probably wouldn't do them. <laughs> All right. This is very long, impractical, and annoying, but you have to do it. You're going to do this now. Okay. Some of the ones I give you are going to be even worse than this. Figure out f of x plus h, plug it into the thing, cross out as much as you can, factor out the h, cancel the h, and then plug in zero. All right. So that's that.